Today is, of course, a very important day regarding the discussion on Russia. Yesterday, I think we had a very good exchange of views on the uh, situation in Belarus, and, and we were very unanimous on, on action and, and putting, uh, uh, making the sanctions lists on, on, uh, on, on Belarus situation. We had also yesterday a very good debate on the Middle East and, and the Middle East peace process with the Israel foreign minister. It was very, very uh, important that we had the opportunity to meet him and had this discussion, waiting, of course, today's discussion on, on, on uh, Russia and Eastern Mediterranean. Thank you. Minister, one question more. Yes. Um, should Mr. Lukashenko be included on the sanctions list? Well, I think the forming of the sanction list process is now uh, ongoing, and uh, I think it's uh, important that we increase gradually the, the pressure and action, and we didn't discuss so uh, detailed on, on names at the moment. There is still time, of course, to, to uh, add names to the list and, and so forth. Do you feel like uh, your colleagues are moving fast enough in the direction of sending a clear message there? Well, I think EU has sent a very clear message, and I'm happy with uh, Mr. Borrell's statements on, on Belarus. I think it's very good that we have had a unanimity in the, in the Council on, on, on these issues. And, of course, the pressure that we, we should have a, a, a pr pressure towards the, the government to start the dialogue with the opposition is extremely important. And I think these are right moves that the EU is currently making. But, of course, we are at the same time hearing very concerning news about the Coordination Council and, and, and some of the new people who have been captured in Belarus and so forth. We have to follow on a daily basis the situation. What do you make out of Putin's announcements of possibly sending in police forces, special forces? Well, I, I think we should all respect uh, the sovereignty of uh, Belarus and, and they should make their own decisions. Of course, what has happened in the elections is that uh, Belarus has been breaking its own laws and, and people are, uh, are protesting against that, that uh, there has not been free and fair uh, elections in the country. It would be very important that to give the support to the population that their own laws should be followed and, and the process should lead, of course, first to the dialogue between the opposition and government and then hopefully to the new free and fair elections in the, in the country. We also yesterday discussed quite a lot about the role of the OECE since uh, now it's Albania but the coming presidency is Sweden and OECE has proposed that there should be a high-level delegation to visit Minsk and at least Finland is fully supporting that part. Will you also discuss sanctions against Turkey? Well, today's discussion, of course, on Eastern Mediterranean will be, will be interesting because there has been a lot of uh, diplomacy also ongoing between Greece and, and Turkey, both of them being NATO countries. So, of course, we, we will now hear first from those who have been uh, doing some diplomatic work what, what, what are their impressions, are there uh, some hopes that uh, we could get uh, Greece and Turkey even at the same negotiation table. Thank you. Thank you.